Hello everybody and welcome to another video of The Gertzwald. Today we are going to be talking about a DIY play kitchen that I made out of an old entertainment center for only $65. Keep watching so you can see how I did it. Before you get started, you have to go shopping. So here's the items that I needed to buy. First off, we had I had some paint brushes and a roller that I already had at home. I had some paneling that I was able to get from Menards for fairly cheap. I bought it for about $10. I have two baskets there. Those were about $10. You could get cheaper baskets. Um, those were just the style that I liked. There was also the stove top panels. Those were only $3 for the two of them. The spray paint I was actually able to get for $8. They were all on clearance. Again, I actually only ended up using two of those. So you wouldn't need all three. The faucet, I just bought one of the cheapest faucets that I could find. I was able to buy that one for $5. I know there's some out there that are a little bit cheaper, but I didn't really want to wait for shipping. Um, and then the paint, the paint was a tricky one. I actually went to the clearance paint section at Lowe's and they had a mail-in rebate for $10 on any paint that you bought over a gallon. So that paint was on clearance for $9. I bought the paint mailed in the mail-in rebate and they sent me back a dollar. So I actually gained a dollar on that paint. Again, any clearance paint or any leftover paint that you have should work for this. It actually didn't take a, a lot. We were able to do two or three projects with this one gallon of paint. And then the TV stand, I bought for $30. So for just $30, this was a pretty good entertainment center. I was able to find it pretty easily. The only thing is it is a solid oak wood entertainment center so it is extremely heavy i really had to have adam help me move it around to try to get it where i needed needed to but it is it is great i'm not concerned about it falling over um, as we stack toys and things like that in there so it is a great option and plus it's really heavy duty here you can see i'm just starting to lay everything out and trying to figure out where everything's gonna sit i went ahead and traced around the bowl um, that's not exactly where we cut. We did have to go in a little bit just because there's the lip all the way around the bowl. So we did cut a little circle right around the inside of that. And then you can see I started to spray paint the front panel of the left hand side. That actually just used to be a shelving area. I'm going to make that into a fridge. So I was able to spray paint it that silver metallic color. And then I'm starting to open up the paint, but I struggled really hard to get this open. So I ended up having to have Adam come over and open the lid for me. Now that we finally got that paint open, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting. I'm painting the entire thing with this cream color. Um, so I started with the top and then I just kind of worked my way around.
So Adam just got done with cutting that circle out, so I'm going to go ahead and paint that all white. Half of it's actually going to be black, but I just decided to paint it all white and then I'll tape it um, and then spray paint it in a little bit. Here is the glass panel that was on the front of the fridge. I actually spray painted it gray. It didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. I really saw a bunch of lines. It was like a glitter spray. Um, so I ended up letting that dry and then you'll see in a little bit I actually end up painting over it. So here we're actually going to start spray painting the stove portion of the top shelf that's going to have the bowl in it. So Adam went ahead and spray painted that black and then we're going to go ahead and move on to spray painting that glass panel. I just really didn't like that sparkly gray. So it's this black chalk paint. So I thought Emerson, our three-year-old, could play with chalk and color on that. Now that the paint is dry, we're going to go ahead and start putting the shelving on the side. You can kind of see Adam in the back, he's starting to measure out the paneling. So we're going to get that put up while I put up the baskets on the side. While Adam finishes up the panel in the back and I got my baskets done, I'm going to go ahead and put the shelving back into the fridge. Um, I thought they looked fine black, so I went ahead and just put those back in and started helping Adam finishing up that panel.
I have to touch up a little bit of the paint from where um, the newspaper was sitting. I must not have let it completely dry. So I'm going to touch that up real quick. Then I'm going to place where I want those stove top circles to be. We ended up just using like a super glue um, and glued those down and just try to eyeball where it looked good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more quick touch up of paint everywhere, make sure that I didn't miss any spots, and then we should be able to put everything back together. Now that we have everything back together, this is what it looks like. I am so happy with how this turned out. Emerson, our three-year-old, absolutely loves it. It looks great in her bedroom. Um, she can put lots of kitchen stuff in there. We ended up buying her some little pots and pans and some Velcro fruit and some cutting boards. So those all fit in those baskets on the side. We have tons of storage in the fridge and it looks great. I'm very happy with it. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer all of them. Again, this was my $65 DIY kitchen makeover.